Welcome back guys to Golden Sun, we're here in the Madra Catacombs, we continue to explore it now that we have peers around to give us a little bit of a frosty boost and as you can see I found the way up and over the wall was a little bit too wally for me or at least I just didn't notice the fact that I could easily jump over there and move onwards so as we get ourselves an elixir we get ourselves jumping as well and lashing on top of that to see where it'll take us next. That's a very long way to lash, that's for sure. As we keep exploring, as we're going up top, are we? Okay. Where will this take us? Well, it will take us over here. And seemingly into this door, unless we want to go along this pathway. Where does this pathway lead me? Well, we got ourselves a rat and we got ourselves a troll. So first of all, we'll mainly beat up the troll because Shiba should be able to take the rat by herself. A nice critical there takes the troll out. And we're only ever going to get small amounts of experience from these enemies, so it's not exactly a great thing, but going around here gets us to a treasure chest, so I'll take that. Right, we've got ourselves a mist potion there. What is a mist potion exactly? It stores 300 HP to all. Well, that's not a bad potion at all. That could be proved very, very useful later on. Of course, that would be if we're running out PP now that we've just got ourselves our first AoE healing ability on Jenna. We'll find out how it works in the future. Jenna attacks. We should really use that war to just top ourselves up a little bit, I think. But in the meantime, we've made it to the opposite side of things. Rooms we've seen before. Hello, treasure chest. So if you're up there, I'd say that we want to bring you down, maybe. Well, I take it, you're going to fall down the hole. So now how do I get down there again? That's the question. Okay. Obviously I want to go in below me now. And there's got to be a way to just fall down from here. No, is there not? Well, that's incredibly worrying. I guess we've got to go all the way back round to get down and get that treasure chest. So it's going to keep us in here for a while longer. Do you know what I could cast? Because these enemies aren't going to give me much experience anyway. Now, if it was something like that red demon here and I get myself another Anubis staff, then that would be a different matter. I'd want to fight everything, but at this point, we'd just be getting ourselves... Money's not bad, but we're looking for better rewards at this point in time. So where did that drop, do you imagine? Well, not in there, for starters. In the throne roomy area, I guess? We can't head up there. Indeed, it fell over here. So we checked the chest and we got ourselves the ruined key. Now to find what to do with that, well we've found ourselves a big red door in the past, so is that where we want to go? Must be locked, and indeed we have ourselves the option to use a key. Open says me. As we seem to have found ourselves round to another summoning tablet. So a nice reward has been claimed straight off the bat. Right, we can now summon Moloch. To summon Moloch, two Mercury and one Jupiter standby gin are needed. So let's stand by them already. Two Mercury and one Jupiter. Well, let's use them nicely. Let's use Aoife here, maybe on. Okay. Oh, actually, we've already got one Mercury on standby, so we don't need to stand by both of these. Let's stand by that one. That'll be everything we need there, but for now, I think we should kind of head out of the area because I imagine that's probably everything we intended to get. That seems to be the main prize of this dungeon, unless there was a gin somewhere inside, but I didn't see any of them around. So now that we've done Madra and we've got lots of goodies from it, I guess all that's left is to head on out. Maybe get exploring around the place. Hey, wait a minute! Who are you? You were talking about others, weren't you? Don't play dumb. We all heard you. I recognize your designs. Yes, we know others. What about him? Well, why don't you tell us where we can find him? Why should we tell you anything? Hollis took good care of us when we were in Vault. And we'd like to thank him. Ah, yes. Well, I'm afraid we don't know where you can find Hollis right now. Oh, is that so? I guess we'll just have to give you the reward we'd planned for him. 
You've got a grudge against Hollis, and you're going to take it out on us? Oh yeah, you could call it a grudge. A serious grudge. But don't worry, we're just going to give you a little sample of what we planned for him. Well, I was heading out here to use a summon, but... If you guys are going to tap me... With the old theme, then to be honest, I think I might use my new summon and say hello to all of you in a very nice fashion. In the meantime, I want to use Aura here because I want to see what it looks like. Apart from that, Shiva, do you want to use Moloch? And then apart from that, I guess you can attack the other one then, sir. As our newest summon goes to battle. Eat him up, or hit them with a blizzardy wind. Alright, 84 damage, critical, that's 135, agility's dropped on all of them now, not that I really expected their agility to be any good. Genicast Aura, everyone's HP is fully restored, and now we can get to work, but they seem to be a bit more hardy than they were before, that's for sure. But we'd already had to fully restore his HP with a nut, so maybe my saying he's being hardy now is actually quite a lie. To be honest though, if we attack them with some horrible stuff here... They're not going to like this whatsoever. This is going to be a lot of doom coming their way. And I don't want to use that. I want to use a tundra. Let's use all the cool things. Oh, there's one. They're cool. Cool. It's just cool. I'm afraid you might have experienced some of this before, sirs. And the one on the left survives the longest. As he goes down as well. Thief one. All the bandits party has been downed. We lost again. So boss, you uh, you think maybe it was a mistake going after these guys? This means we're going to gel again, doesn't it? Oh, why do we have to go back to gel? I hate it there. It's not like we really hurt anyone. After all, we lost. Yeah, it's not like we stole anything this time. We're not going to have to go to gel, are we? You're thieves! If we asked around, we could probably find a dozen reasons to have you locked up. Are you guys like wandering sheriffs or something? Yes. Because we could be really useful to you if you are. We know all sorts of criminal elements. You can't honestly believe we would let you join us. Hey, come on. We haven't done anything wrong, really. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, we didn't have enough time to do anything bad before we ran into you guys. Yeah, so give us a break. So, uh, bye. See you later. Will you promise to stop following Ollis and trying to get revenge on him? I don't know, but something seems to have dropped here, so I'm going to claim it. Felix got golden boots and gave them to Jenna. Alright then, apart from that, what are golden boots? Raise defense and speed. Defense by 11, speed by a lot. A lot, we call that. Right, and the lowest one of our speeds here is very much our watery friend, though of course Felix's agility is not very good either, actually. Who's do we increase then? Felix is attacking last in general. Piers could go... Yeah, let's boost Piers. His defense is a lot lower, after all. So have fun with that, Piers. Golden boots on you. And now we get off, of course, we could travel to Ayers Rock, where there is at least one more treasure we could claim. These blue dots, though, are the interesting thing to me. Why are they blue exactly? Does that mean they're not complete? I do not know. But at that point in time, wouldn't then Gibombo or Kibombo be that way? Either way, I think I'm going to travel up and see if we can do something there, first of all, before we hit ourselves the boat. So with the power of editing, and with Thieves defeated, let's get traveling. So after a long slog of travel, we make it through to the Kabomba statue once more in Kimbombo. And down towards the Kabomba catacombs, because we have ourselves a new synergy that we wish to use, of course, and which of which could probably set to shortcut if we intend to use it, supposedly clearing away scattering weeds. Let's use it then, to find out what it can do, if it will do anything indeed. Right, so, it scatters away weeds, avoids effect war off, we've got weeds all around us though. And more to the point, this is the interesting point over there. Right. We're scattering weeds, let's just keep clearing the room and see if we get anything going on, or if that point is a point of interest indeed. 
break these guys down. Come on, bit by bit. One by one, smash him. Echo, go. 166 damage done. A sleep bomb gained. All right then, let's do Echo and change chill out there because I've just realized that's mo multiply my class here. Let's find out if this point on the floor is something indeed, and it is. So, sucked into some kind of weird whirlwind cyclone, it would be called, of course. Where have we got ourselves? Well, we can't get up anywhere there. There's a Venus Gin here, which would sort out a lot of my issues right now with Felix's class as a whole. Well, we've got red demons on top of that, so we should really try and fight them for their Anubis staff still. So, first of all, we'll drop a sarcophagus on that guy. Finish him off. Silence eat your howl. Will power drive come out as well? No, it's just a critical it seems, but a critical does a lot more damage than power drive would on that guy. It's about a difference of 30, I think it is. And with that, we will get a blitz down and say, give us another staff of Anubis, sir. I kind of want another one. If not to use, then to sell, but we get ourselves a level up. Level 19 magician is now Sheba. So we get 373 coins. So how do we get to this thing then? It's blocked off entirely. Alright. So it's gotta be somewhere like accessible, like falling down from in there or something. Something along those lines anyway. I can't even do anything involving these at the moment. I can gust away as many weeds as I want, but it doesn't really seem to get me anything or anywhere. That's for sure. Right, can I gust the wheeze away from above? Well, it seems like I'm not getting up there. I want to get up. If there's something underneath them, like another warp portal or something like that, that would be handy. How do I get to this gin? Right, Sarcophagus actually did a negative effect on that guy. Attack dropped by 33 for that one. Well, we're howling with everything. Will this be a power drive? A full howling turd. Man, you guys howl a lot. Right, apart from that, we can cyclone here as well. And that did give us a portal, right. Which has brought us in for our Venus Gin. Clearing out these weeds is quite good, apart from the fact you want to fight me as usual. You're going to flee, aren't you? His eyes went green and evil. I don't like it. Well, oh, party was caught by surprise. Don't try to flee as well. That would be mean. Right, attack. Standard attack. We try to paralyze it as well with lightning strike. Blitz did not work as it tries to run, but there's no escape this time. All right, everyone else got in there. How much damage will he have taken? Will he be near his limit? I do not know. All right, let's use Woff then and see if it will work. It does attack damage, does it? 117 damage does not fell the beast, but I'm guessing one more hit will as our party's HP drops dramatically, but we get ourselves the gin. No weakness strike win, we tried though. And of course, once I'd used the blitz, my class had dropped and I'd lost a lot of lovely attack stats. So Felix found the Venus Ginny Mud. And well, that enables us now, if we switch this on, slow a foe with sticky mud, change to a gallant. Does that gain me anything in terms of synergy? We do get Gaia and Revive, it seems. So not bad, plus a major stat boost yet again. We can move Chill over. And now that kind of sets things up actually fully nicely. Sorted. I like my pure classes for the time being. I might try to diverge more into other classes later on, mind you, like I didn't do in Golden Sun 1, but let's keep on keeping on. We can fall down here. Salamander 1 and 2 appears in the meantime. Alright then, Sarcophagus Howls will just take out one of these guys first. Nimbly dodges, Hurricane comes in, bang! 106 damage, weakness as well. And we take down the first one. Alright then, Fire Breath comes across the party, not so good. Is Felix's overall speed a lot better now? Because he's classed up. Anubis Sarcophagus. Felix is now the second fastest. Piers unleashes Fogs, takes down the enemy, nicely done. It's now Jenna who's the slowest? Okay then. Well, I guess that's how things work out in the end. To be honest, though, I'm just happy to have got ourselves enough gin now that we can spread things out where we want them and pure it out. Pure it out! 
with incredibly boosted stats and it seems, well, let's put it this way, Jenna Pure seems to get a healing ability, so I like that. It's class healing, it's basically Wish. Where else am I going now? I haven't cleared this side. Another death head or two wants to come out and attack me. Ugh, go away. No one likes you. Echo will break you down, 210 damage, farewell. Of course I drop class whenever I do it, but 210 damage is pretty high on the scale. And it seems we found ourselves another whirlwindy point. Clearing out these weeds was a great idea, but now where are we? Okay, we're on the other side, are we? Well, that's not too bad, let's get exploring the place. And which way do I go? Let's go left. Well, well, first of all, we got bonfires and doomsayers galore. Why are you having to say doom? Attack that one. You can take that one down for Blitz, and then Pierce can take that one on the edge. Blitz, one. we'll take it down in one go. Weakness strike. Echo takes that one down in one go. One strike. And the other two can finish off the other one. Nicely done. Got an oil drop and a sleep bomb. So we're proccing the items, then. And doing our strikes. Nothing this way. Hooray. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Where are we going now? Alright then, another group of Wii's. Are we going to teleport yet again? It seems Piers goes first this time, so everyone's kind of overall classes are kind of... Or speed is enough near each other that it changes? I don't know how to put it. Cyclone comes out and it seems an item was dropped here as we gain a mint. Right. Given to Jenna, you say, here. Well, if we're going to give this mint to anyone, it's going to be the, him with the lowest PP. Oh, this is agility, of course. Oh, well. Wrong wrong item. It's a cookie that's PP, isn't it? Uh, uh. Right, so they've got exactly the same amount of agility, and it's now Jenna on the lower side of it. So she's a healer, so we'll boost her up. All right, then. Should we clear out the rest of it? Just in case there's any more hidden items? I guess it's kind of the thing we'll have to do whenever we see weeds from now on. Alright, we can't make it along the top. There's more weeds down here. And we find ourselves a nice frosty pillar in a second. Build it up. And now we go back to jump over again. So puzzles are definitely strong in this place, that's for sure. We really have ourselves our full use of Cyclone now. We know what roughly is going on with it. Go on, Echo. Breakthrough. Farewell to you. So everyone in our party is generally fast enough to be faster than the enemies at this point in time, so that's not bad. I do wonder how we'd fail our game, or fare against the Pixies, but I think it'd go quite nicely. Right then, a circle of weeds leads us to a pool of water, which then hints to me that there's something else here, so reveal or open up the door. That was a bit obvious, to be honest. Circles of things have led to reveal things before, after all. Is that a pathway? Well, if it was, we've now got red demons galore, so we're going to have to take them out. Right, sarcophagus howl, 78 damage. Previous attacks, 101, 71, and 64 there. Vital Moon comes through, takes Piers down to no HP. Vital Moon kills Piers. Well, that is incredibly unlucky. We do have ourselves a spell that we just gained, though. Is that our first down member? I, I can't remember at this point in time. That's not very nice having a move that takes you down to 1 HP and then can kill you. That's, that's just not kind of fair in some senses. Don't like you guys now. Blitz will finish off one. Give us the Staff of Anubis in return. As Revive is cast on Piers and he's up and ready to go. And always look on the way we can sort things out after the bad things happen. And that did sort things out, so we're quite happy there. Let's bring a Woff down and then defend, because Woff should finish it anyway. Nicely done. Do we get ourselves a Staff of Anubis? Well, Felix is now a level 20 Gallant, learns to play Spire. We only got 400 coins. It's a shame, it's a shame. But I did not like the attack that guy caused to me. That was nasty. How dare you knock Piers out? Right then, where are we going? We've got Weeze up here, so let's keep going upwards. 
And it looks like a point we can make to jump over to there. A ladder that leads upwards. So for now, I think our puzzle is engaged in here. Alright, take you out, sir. Echo yet again. Sarcophagus! Drop it on his head. Echo breaks through. I guess it won't be long till Jenna levels up at this rate, either. As we keep getting more and more and more experience. So, I guess we're going to be heading up the rushing rapids. And as you can see on the right-hand side of the screen there, there's definitely a way upwards and through. So join me next time on Golden Sun as we try to find out what's the real reward here in the catacombs. That we did get ourselves another gin and are looking quite nice and neat now, aren't we? We're lovely level 20 gallant already. Who's next to level up? 662 more, it's gonna be Jenna, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.